Hello and welcome to our Meet for Tea today. My name is Mrs Ben and I'm the head of lower school, which means that I am responsible for overseeing the achievements and well-being of your seven, your eight and your nine. Today you will hear from Miss Wilson, the achievement leader for your seven and your child's form tutor. The aim is to give you a flavour of how the form classes and your group in general have settled in their first half term with us here in Cardiff High School. Personally, I cannot praise our new pupils enough for the resilience and the confidence that they have shown in these first few weeks. They've actually done what we asked them to do on the first few occasions that we met them, which was to bring an open mind, a smile, and to make the most of the new opportunities ahead of them. We know that the move up to high school can be a daunting time for pupils and parents, but I hope that the information today will reassure you of the positive start that your child has made. The Meet the Tutor videos are just one source of information shared with you this week. There is also the Assessment for Learning and Reporting booklet, which can be found on our website. This will outline our reporting procedures and other opportunities for communication throughout Key Stage 3. There is a webinar for use alongside this, which will talk you through the guide. Your child will also be bringing home their first interim report with them on Friday the 22nd of October. This report will reflect how subject teachers feel that your child has settled in their subject area through the awarding of an attitude score ranging from one to four. The criteria for these scores can be found on page 13 of the assessment booklet mentioned previously. Many thanks to you for taking the time to join us and watch these videos today. And I look forward to getting to know both you and your child more through the forthcoming months. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Wilson, I'm the Year 7 Achievement Leader. It's been an absolute pleasure to welcome our new Year 7s up to Cardiff High and to witness them settling in so well over the past two months. Their first taste of what was to come was their induction days back in early September, where they met their form tutors, had a tour of the school and experienced their first lessons in secondary school. They made a fantastic impression on everyone they met that day. And it was wonderful to see so many happy, smiling faces leaving the school gates, eager to return for their proper first day of school the next morning. Since that first day, I've had numerous members of staff approaching me to tell me how pleased they are with Year 7, both in and outside of lessons, which has made me really proud to work alongside them as their achievement leader. Their positivity and enthusiasm for school life has continued to shine through. So our New Year 7s have grasped a huge number of opportunities that have come their way, and really thrown themselves into all aspects of high school life. I've loved hearing stories of new favourite subjects, newfound friendships, and the fantastic turnout to the wide range of extracurricular clubs running at lunchtime and after school, such as art, football, rugby, and radio club, to name just a few. Recently, the Year 7s took part in a resilience and mental health workshop run by the charity Action for Children. The staff running the event were incredibly complimentary about their experience with the year group, and highlighted how well the students engaged with the workshops. All students were issued with a mental health first aid kit following the session, and I hope that they find these beneficial towards supporting their overall well-being. It's been so lovely to observe the year group at break and lunch times, enjoying the canteen with their canteen card lanyards, playing on the table, tennis tables, and with the new outdoor games like Connect Four, and it's clear that a real sense of community is quickly developing. I am really looking forward to working with Year 7 for the rest of the year. I'm very excited to see what successes the year will bring for them all. If you would like to get in touch, you can email me on the address listed below on the screen or contact your child's form tutor. And if you're a Twitter user, I would also recommend, if you haven't yet done so, to follow the official school account, as well as my account, again, both shown below, in order to keep up to date with school news and all things related to Year 7. I will now hand over to your child's form teacher, but for now, thank you for listening and I hope to see you soon. Shabai, I am Miss Morgan and I am 7S's form tutor. I am a Welsh teacher and it is also in fact my first year here at Cardiff High School, which is quite nice because we are all learning together at the moment. I must say it's been an absolute pleasure to have been given 7S as a form class. They are all so polite, some really fun characters and very honest young adults that are settling in very, very well. 
I'm aware that at the start, some people got quite lost, myself included. However, I do believe now that we have cracked that one way system somehow um, and we are getting to class on time and we know where our lessons are. So in regards to our form time, um, well, our form time, we have different activities throughout the week. It generally follows the pattern of Monday. We will have a check in session. This is where I will be checking that you have been checking the planners. Um, I will also be checking uniform. Whilst I am on that point, could we please make sure that we have got names written on our uniform? It's so easy to forget a blazer, to forget PE kit, and there's a pile of blazers growing <laughs> behind reception. So please could you check that we are labeling and putting names on our items of clothing? Yes. And then lastly, Monday is just to check how people are doing, how the weekend was, if they did anything exciting, and seeing that everyone is okay. Tuesday, we have our PSE sessions, which is physical and social education. Wednesday, we will have an assembly. This week's assembly was based on sleep. So I have been asking my class whether they had the eight to 10 hours. Not sure they've quite got it yet, not all of them. However, I'm hoping with time, we will be getting that correct amount of sleep, seven hours, I will be checking. Thursday, we have our wellbeing and it was Thursday today. So today we were focusing on different activities that vary from 30 seconds to three minutes to 30 minutes. Each of these they can be doing at home, in school, um, and it just allows them to focus on themselves, to check that their well-being is in a secure place and to have some time to just have a break and a think for themselves. So I will be checking tomorrow that we have been doing some of these activities. Then Friday, we have our form activity. This is a bit more open, a bit more free, and I've had a lot of help from my bilingual rep so far um, with my Friday form activities. So I look forward to seeing what else they have um, planned. During each of these sessions, I must say I've gotten to know 7S really well. I've, no I've gotten to know what their hobbies, their interests are. We've had some very heated discussions about different things. However, with each of these discussions or um, opinions, Everyone has been very respectful of each other. Everyone has listened to each other and then responded appropriately. So they should all be very proud of that. I've learned we have a number of rugby fans here. Got a bit to learn about rugby myself. So <laughs> yet to learn that. Um, we have some chess club champions, some fellow musicians, some creative arty people. And that's to name just a few things or different hobbies we have in the class. I'm also aware to my delight that we have a very competitive class when we have our fun run and our mini marathon. If I could thank you as well for your contributions for helping us raise so much money for such good causes. I was out there on the field with them, cheering them on and you should all be so, so proud of yourselves. It has been an absolute pleasure getting to know 7S and I look forward to getting to know them even more over the next few years. If you have got any questions, any concerns, any anything at all, please feel free to email me. My email is Morgan G, so that's M-O-R-G-A-N-G 322 at hubcumry.net. However, I'm sure somewhere in the planners, 7S will have that written down. Um, and also that we do have a Google Classroom set up. So that's with every pupil is a member and any announcements, Anything I say in form that is important, I will be putting on Google Classroom as well. So there shouldn't be anything to be forgotten. Um, and then once again, just thank you so much for having such lovely people in my class. It's been so, so enjoyable so far, and I'm sure it will only continue in that way. Also, 7S, I have tried the Oreos and squash combination. I will leave that to you, not my cup of tea. Diolch and bar, hoil bar.